What's up, guys? Do you want a hundred thousand dollars? Do you want how long it takes to have a hundred thousand dollars? Do you want a million dollars? How long will it take to get your million dollars? So the late Charlie Munger said the first hundred thousand dollars is a beep, but you got to do it. No matter what it takes, going out to eat with coupons, walking everywhere, don't buy anything that unless you have a coupon for it. Let's go and get in this chart real quick about the first hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so as you can see on this little graph we've got set up over here, this wonderful little graph, our visual aids, if you will. So it's going to take your first hundred thousand dollars at seven percent interest, ten thousand dollars a year. If you invest ten thousand dollars a year into the market and you're getting a measly seven percent interest, which it's all right, but that's a piece higher than that. So you invest $10,000 a year, it's gonna take 7.84 years. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Subscribe to my channel down there below. 7.84 years to get your first 100,000 at 7% interest. So 7%, let's see, you invest here 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. This peach salmon color at the bottom, if you will, is your principal, right? This other color on top, yellow, orange, whatever color this is here, this is your interest. You're collecting interest. Look at all this free money you got right here. So 75% of your first 100000 is principal, right? Oh, it's good. You just got to keep going. Keep putting your $10,000 in there. How much is $10,000 a year? I'm going to tell you one second how much $10,000 a year is. All right, so $10,000 a year. We type that in, $10,000 dollars per year, 10,000 per year, divided by 365 days equals $27.40 per day. Can you invest $27.39 per day? What do you spend that money on? Sodas, cigarettes, snacks, nonsense at the gas station, subscriptions you don't even use. All right, so that's how much it is per day, $27.39 Per day is what you can invest for 7.8 years to have your first $100,000. All right, let's get that out of there. Let's get that out of there. All right, so that's where we're at, $100,000. Now, do you want, how long does it take to get a million dollars? Okay, let's go over, let's go over a million dollars. See how long that's going to So your first, your first million dollars, as we see here on this little graph, we already talked about is a hundred thousand dollars, seven point eight four years for your first hundred thousand. Your next hundred thousand comes in five point one years. So you took two point seven years off just to get your next hundred thousand dollars. Why is that? Compounding growth. You got your drip turned on. You're reinvesting your dividends. You buy some shares. You get some dividends. Those dividends buy even more shares. The following year, you have more money. Have more dividends. Buy more shares. So that's real simple there, how that works. The following $100,000, so now you're at $300,000, the following is 3.8 years. 3.8 years, so you're just cutting cutting time out, just cutting a bunch of time out to get up to $300,000. That's simple, right? So you're at $300,000, now you wanna to go to $400,000. That takes an additional three years. Three additional years, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Give me a thumbs up. I know you like this stuff. So now you want to go to 500000 How long does it take for 500000 That's two and a half years later. So your total now, you're at like 21 point something years. You started when you're 30, right? And now you're 50 years old. You're like, I only got $500,000. I want a million by the time I'm, dang, I'm 60. You can have a million. Keep investing. I'll show you. So now you're at 500,000, you want to go to 600,000. Let me take my guy here and move him up here. Let's move my guy over here somewhere. So you're at $600,000, right? 23 years, 23 and three quarter years, you're at 600,000. Less than two years later, less than two years later, you're at $700,000 right here. 700 grand, and now you're at your 55 years old, starting when you're 30, saving $27 and some change a day. 
Now you're 55, you got $700, you're like, I might be able to make it. I might be able to be a, a millionaire in my brokerage account, not my 401k, this is my brokerage account. I might be able to be a millionaire by the time I'm 60. Let's look at 800,000. 1.7 years later, 900,000. 1.5 years later, a million. 1.4 years later, you're at 30 years investing $10,000 a month from the age of 30 years old to 60 years old. Not a month, I'm sorry, $10,000 a year. So 30 years old, $10,000 a year, six years old, you now have a million dollars. That's a 7% interest rate, which uh, S&P 500 is returning better than 7%. Um, that's real simple, guys, real simple. Let's look at this other little graph. So if you look at this graph here, and this graph will show you your principal, we already talked about principal down here at the bottom. At the first 100,000, 75% of your 100,000 was principal. But if you look at this next section, it continues to go down in principal because you're getting a lot of that interest. Look at 300,000. Look at all that interest you got when you got up to $300,000. This section here, you're at 16 years in, and half of it's daggum interest. Half of it's principal, half of it's interest. 400,000, 500,000, you're getting more. You're getting more interest than you are than you have on principal. So let's go over here to 600. Look at all this. Look at this growth, guys. Look at all this growth. So you're at like 30 years. It's 30, 30 years. Right? So the age of 30 to the age of 60, you have a million dollars. Ten thousand dollars a year. I know you can do it. I mean, unless you're just super duper poor but you're not you choose to be lazy on the weekends you're lazy at night when you get off work you work eight hours a day you work 40 hours a week and you complain about not having any money but guess what go drive a daggum uber in the evenings for two or three hours go drive go do doordash in the evenings 50 bucks an evening saturday nights you can drive a uber right i mean you can get you can get the 27 dollars a day very easily. So a million dollars, 30 years, 10,000 a month. Let's see how long will it take? Say you're 20 years old, right? And you want a million. You would be 50 years old. Now 50 to 60 is another 10 years. How much would that be? Let's find out. All right, let's look it up, guys. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. So we have, let's well, so start at zero dollars. You have zero dollars, right? You're 22 years old, fresh out of college. And you're going to invest $10,000 a year. So you got zero dollars up front. You want to go for 40 years, so you're 62, 22 to 62, 40 years. What's your rate of return? 7% right there, guys. How much will you contribute? $10,000 a year. There it is. How to contribute 10 per year? Compound and annually. Calculate. We're at $1,996,351. That's for 40 years. You almost have $2 million by investing $27 and some change a day. $27.80, is that what it was? $27. Per day for 40 years going to give you $2 million, guys. You can easily do that. It's not going to be a problem for you. You know you can do it. You're just being a crybaby. All right, let's see. Let's see. You're 18, right? You're 18. You want to go till 62. You had a good start on life. You got a good jump. You know how to do this. 44 years, 18 to 62. 2.6 million dollars those four more years gave you 660,000 more dollars compounding growth guys that's where it's at time in the market gotta have your money in the market so stop complaining about all the other stuff it's so silly so silly guys but you got to stop complaining about it. You got to do it. You got to get that money in the market. We sure do appreciate you stopping by the channel today, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. $27 a day. You know you can do it.
put the money in the market wherever you want. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you. I'm not an attorney, right? Uh, investing takes risk, but life is a risk, right? So put the money in the market. Do what you know you're supposed to do. Buy some stuff. Buy whatever you want. SP 500. Buy some Ford. Buy whatever you want to buy. Large cap, growth stocks, whatever. ETFs. Do whatever you want to do. But you got to get the money in the market. There's other people say, go out and buy an apartment complex. You're not, first off, not everybody can buy a daggum apartment complex, right? Oh, you got to buy a 500 unit. No, you, who's going to buy that? You make $48,000 a year. Really? Are you going to go out and buy uh, a 500 unit apartment complex? Really? And then do a, get a loan on it, get a 500% loan on it? Right, and then buy 17 more apartment complexes. It doesn't work like that. You have to have money to do that. Put your money in the market if you want to be a millionaire. And don't ever pull it out until you're an old man or old lady. All right, guys. We sure do appreciate you stopping by the channel. Appreciate it. Make sure you give a thumbs up, guys. Make sure you subscribe over. Which side? Of it? It's over here. Make sure you subscribe over here, guys in the corner. All right, we're going to take off. We'll see you next time. We're going to take off, guys.